Gibraltar leader suggests solution that could solve Brexit talks de lock. Brexit talks could quickly move forward to phase two if the United Kingdom and the EU agree to establish crossing points controlled by border forces. Gibraltar Chief Minister Fabian Picardo suggested the UK could seek to adapt the current border system used between Spain and Gibraltar between the two Irish nations. Mr Picardo said, human interaction will be there in the event that the individual who is on duty the day sees something that concerns him, and humans are always better than machines at spotting suspicious behavior. Beyond the immigration officer, who is that human check of immigration documents, there lies Gibraltar's customs also for pedestrians and they have an opportunity of observing people and deciding whether they want to take them to one side or not. Gibraltar is like Northern Ireland, a part of the UK sharing a land border with an EU member state and has a long-established immigration system that regulates the flow of goods and people between Spain and Gibraltar. Giving evidence to the Northern Ireland Affairs Committee, Mr Picardo reiterated that the border mechanism would have to be adapted because of the differing requirements and sizes between Ulster and Gibraltar. Mr Picardo added that the current system in his constituency heavily relies on a mix of human interactions and technology. He said, we operate a complex system of technological measures at the frontier so that we are able to have a cursory human check backed up by technological solutions that will flash up to us anybody coming into Gibraltar who is known or wanted on an Interpol, UK or Gibraltar side. But both the British government and Ireland's Prime Minister ruled out the suggestion to equip the 200 crossing points between the two Irish nations with cameras. The Irish border remains a critical policy area where both sides of the negotiations failed to agree, along with citizens' rights and the Brexit divorce bill. Unelected Brussels officials are said to be pushing Theresa May's government to give Ulster Hong Kong-style autonomy allowing Northern Ireland to join the World Trade Organization, WTO, in its own right after Brexit. This would allow European regulations and the EU Customs Union could continue to apply to Ulster, while it remains in the UK.